At number 10 is the Vauxhall Vectra Estate. The Vectra's popularity as a company car brings what is essentially a boring car into our top 10. Vauxhall have designed the Vectra to be cost-effective and cheap to run. All those things that will make it attractive to the accountants at work. Unfortunately for the travelling rep, excitement isn't cost-effective and isn't to be found in the Vectra. Vauxhall are doing their bit for the environment, however, with their dual-fuel engines. The 1.8-litre dual-fuel petrol engine available in the Vectra can use either LPG, that's liquefied petroleum gas, or unleaded. If all of this has got you tempted to do your bit to save the planet, and let's be honest, save more than a few quid, fine, by all means go ahead. But you will need to sit down and do your calculations. You don't need to do the kind of interstellar mega mileages that you used to have to do to justify an old-fashioned diesel just to save a few pence. It's not that big a difference. But you will need to do a few miles before you save enough money to justify the extra expense in buying a car that can take LPG. Also on the plus side, the Vectra is a reliable runner and quite happy to sit on the motorway all day. Inside, the decor is not at all bad, and the sturdiness of it all guarantees the accountants can keep one in the company fleet for a good while. After all this cost-effectiveness, the residual value is low, very low, as little as 22% of the original price, but by then the company will have squeezed every last penny's worth out of this workhorse, so the accountants will be able to stomach it. But will you? Number 10, the Vauxhall Vectra Estate. 